Hello and welcome everyone, Ducky O'Brien here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a preview of a game called Dungeons 3. This is Dungeons 3 The Complete Edition, which contains all of the DLC. Anyways, Dungeons 3 was developed by Realm Forge Studios. It was published by Calypso, and it was being released on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the PC on June 26, 2020. I was previously released on October 13th, 2017, I believe, the first Dungeon Street. Anyways, why don't we get into it? Uh, I believe the current MSRP is $39.99 on PC. This is basically Warcraft 3. <laughs> I'm gonna get into it. It's not quite the same. It's more like a management sim combined with elements of a real-time strategy. So we're gonna go into the campaign. I played quite a bit. We're gonna the start from the s yeah, there we go. Yep. The shadow of absolute evil had crossed the sea and now sought the chosen target, a dark elf named Talia. So there's a lot of sarcasm, and it makes fun of a lot of the tropes found in like Warcraft Three, World of Warcraft, uh, these type of games. Again, too, there's a lot of narration. Uh, you can skip that, obviously, but I mean, you like listening to it, so I want to go in. A long, long time ago, the absolute evil had, in the famous predecessor to this game, subjugated the known world and defeated good. Now, in a world full of I'll blackness boost the volume and for you guys despair, a little bit. It spent its days sipping cocktails from the skulls of its enemies and forging new plans over a grilled unicorn kebab. Unfortunately, there wasn't much left to forge. A few orc wedges? The occasional trick played on the little snots? There just wasn't anything left to conquer. As the weeks and months passed, the absolute evil grew ever more reticent and seclusive. From time to time, one could hear a slight murmur from the depressed evil's super-secret, secret laboratory in the depths of the dungeon. Its creatures grew more worried with each passing day, and even started to miss its ingenious evil tricks. It was a somewhat confusing time for them. No beatings, no torture, and no being sent to a senseless death. On the other hand, it was a rather nice change. Eons passed, and the unicorn supply dwindled until suddenly, one wonderful day, the evil genius evil joyfully burst from its super secret secret laboratory. It finally had a new goal. An unknown continent, as often found in sequels, lay to the east, sheltered from the wicked evil by naught but a puny little ocean. It immediately had a fleet built. This was so powerful that it covered the horizon from north to south and was manned by the best and most powerful creatures at the devious evil's command. The fleet set sail for the crossing to this new continent, left the harbor, and sank. Yet that mattered naught to the couldn't give a hoot about its minions evil. It instructed its goblins and little snots to design oh, an no. even more powerful fleet. Ignore that, I dropped something. <laughs> These new ships were gigantic. Loaded with Devious Evil's second best creatures, the fleet set out. And that sank as well. The annoyed evil saved his relentless anger towards the shipbuilders for later. Obviously, it would have to take care of the matter itself. With a sigh, it cast a spell and created a shadow of itself. A creature of absolute darkness and evilness. This shadow flew across the water towards the east. There, it would find a vessel, a corruptible being that would subjugate this land in the name of evil. And the shadow had the perfect target in mind. The great paladin Thanos 
hero of the totally Eastern Kingdoms and a repugnantly good fellow. He was visiting the fatiguing library in Twistrum with his comrades to see his foster daughter, Talia. Well now, Talia, tell me about your studies. Are you making progress with the writings of the ancient sages? Yes, dear father. I have thoroughly digested it and have come a step closer to the good. The desire within me to do evil is defeated. Really? <laughs> Excellent. I am proud of you, my child. Continue to concentrate on your studies. I must go to Stormbreeze to clear up a few matters. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, my loyal friend Grimly will protect the country. Should anything trouble you, you can turn to him. Isn't that right, Grimly? I, of course, Janos. I'll keep an eye on the damned elf. You, I mean, your daughter. You can count on me. Then I'll see you soon, my friends. May the goddess watch over you, and the light burn eternally. Bon voyage, dear father. I'll make you so proud of me. Who does good is good. Yuck. Disgusting phrases like that always leave such a nasty taste in my mouth. These abnormally good heroes, on the other hand, had no inkling of the malignity gathered to the south. One moment a herd of sheep was peacefully grazing, and the next moment, whomph! With a fulminant explosive effect that ate up half our special effects budget, the shadow entered the world. His target, a dark elf caught between good and evil, was very close. As the shadow of the unspeakably evil evil moved through the world, all around it died. Plants withered, animals perished. Sort of like a picnic with my family. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, I like the humor, but I feel like it's a little bit dated for the younger generation of gamers. But it's very tongue-in-cheek, very sarcastic, very satirical. I'm loving it. Also, just I would like to note, I threw my back out carrying groceries, so my lower back is in a lot of pain and I have trouble moving around. So that's why uh, I was trying to get something and I made some noise earlier. <laughs> I'm getting old. So you gotta lift with your legs, not your back. Okay, if you note here, the graphics are very reminiscent of a game like Warcraft 3. The setting, the character names... The shadow of the far-off evil found itself very, very close to Twistrum. It could practically feel its target's presence. Take these lanterns, men, and let the light of the goddess shine. For the night is dark and full of terrors. And there's a pile of horse poo around here somewhere. I trod in it earlier. For the darkness! Uh, 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 I, mean, I mean, for, for the light! Sorry. <laughs> I'm still in training. <laughs> uh, yes, well, that is somewhat suboptimal. Naturally, the shadow of the almighty evil was an incredibly powerful creature. But, well, light was a bit of an issue. It would certainly be wise to stay out of the lantern light. The shadow reached the entrance to Twistrum. Fortunately, this one was not closed, but it was brightly lit. Luckily, there was an unfortunate guard on patrol that the Shadow was able to possess, thanks to its incredible powers. As long as it wasn't in the light. Oh, uh, what was that? I think there was something wrong with that last beer. Unfortunately, the Shadow's possession only lasted a short while before the guard was able to free himself. Still, it was long enough to get past the gate. The Shadow's target was close, so close. Talia, the Dark Elf. Soon she would fight on the side of evil. <laughs> May the goddess be with you, my friend. Uh, so much talking. It will soon be time to open the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Come to the big square and join in the festivities. Well, I don't know. I had actually kind of planned to spend the evening in the bathhouse. Friends, this orphanage is very important to my father. Thanos, you know, 
the mighty paladin, the one you really don't want to offend. Uh, yeah, all right, all right, we'd love to come. Excellent! May the light of the goddess shine upon you and let us experience this exhilarating spectacle in the big square together. Follow me, my friends, for evil at the, 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 the light, I mean. <laughs> Keep the light burning bright, for the night is dark and full of terriers or uh, errors or uh, uh, something like that. If the night was full of terriers, that would be amazing. Again, this is just the beginning part. You can skip all of this. The opening sequences, all the dialogue. If you don't like it, you don't have to deal with it. Also, this the game is not like this. This is just the intro sequence to get you acquainted with the characters and the settings and the overall tone of the game. Stop holding the lantern in my face like that, boy. I am Grimly, King of the Dwarves. I'm Grimly, King of the Dwarves. In the distance, one could hear the unbearably good bells of a church. They must be marking the opening of the orphanage in the fatiguing library. Heroes! With lanterns, they began to stream in that direction. The crossing on a red signal evil shadow swore, or would have if it had a mouth, and tried to avoid the lanterns as much as possible. Man, I can't believe I injured my back. Ah. And in the name of my father, Thanos, I'm glad to see so many of you here of your own free will. We did it. Finally, finally, the time had come and the shadow of the past... My dear father would be very proud were he with us today. He would be overjoyed to see us give the young and the needy a place to live and thrive. That's why I'm happy to take this orphanage and this orphanage and destroy it. Utterly, and all of you with it. Uh, what did she say? Die! <laughs> ah, I, I feel the power within me. Oh, it, it, it's over 9,000! Unimagined powers surfaced in Talia. The black magic of the Dark Elves. She immediately began to <laughs> unleash these powers of chaos upon the world. It's literally doing over 9,000 damage and 1337 is leet for the youngins who don't understand that reference. Like elite, but without the E. I'll tear you to pieces! The Dark Elf raged through Twistrum's inexperienced guards. She thereby built up a tremendous inner energy, which she released into the world as a focus beam while screaming, Kamehameha! Meanwhile, in the fatiguing library, they waited eagerly with coffee and cake for Talia to show up and open the new orphanage. The energy beam hit the cake with a resounding zap and reduced it to ashes. Oh yes, and the rest of the building and everyone inside it as well. The narcissistic evil patted itself on the shoulder for this. Or it would have, but the metal armor always made such a terrible clonking noise when it tried. But then again, that's what little snots are for. Obviously, the dispatch shadow had found a perfect vessel in the Dark Elf. Talia had already earned the title of Employee of the Month with the utter destruction of the fatiguing library as well as half of Twistrum. The destruction of an orphanage 
and the bombardment of innocent citizens with magic missiles immediately made her the Minion Wasting Evil's new favorite henchperson. Her evil deeds complete, Talia withdrew into the vaults beneath the ruins of the fatiguing library. There, between the slaughterhouse and mad Archbishop Lazarus's apartments, she prepared to create something powerful in the name of the absolutely, ultimately evil, evil. A dungeon heart, the cornerstone of any dungeon's power. Far away, Paladin of Light and Talia's former mentor, Thanos, was on his way to the Empire's capital of Stormbreeze. Naive and trusting as he was, he was whistling cheerfully to himself with no inkling of his foster daughter's dark deeds. Though he was aware that as a dark elf, she always had a core of evil in her. He had hoped to defeat it through religious indoctrination with ancient mad writings. Well, old bean, you thought wrong. <laughs> Look at the art, it says generic fantasy city. There's a lot of very the satirical of humor. Steelsmith. Led by Talia, the brutal evil's army had reached the dwarven town of Steelsmith and made ready to storm it. Okay, we just did that. Twistrum in ruins. Talia the Dark Elf. Okay, let's do this. Again, the humor is pretty intelligent and witty. It has a lot of references to older games. Lord of the Rings as well. Older gamer culture. Twistrum looked like the leftovers from a heavy metal concert. What? What have I done? Oh no! I fall into evil again! Father will be beside himself! He was right when he said, You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain! Memes. Although, in a way, it was fun to be evil. Burning things, pillaging, and showing those nasty goody two shoes where the hammer hangs. <laughs> they just look down at me anyway. My revenge will be terrible. While Tanya was delivering a typical villainous monologue, something happened around her. From the depths arose a pulsating crystal filled with the magic savvy evil's power. A dungeon heart. Not to be confused with those dungeon hearts from other games. We don't want to be sued. Again. Hello, greetings. <laughs> what seems to be your boggle? Secret mental messages were exchanged between Talia and the mentally savvy evil's crystal. We could explain this in detail at this point, but that would require a three-hour monologue on my part, and I am definitely not being paid enough for that. <sighs> right then. I will make these people suffer for mocking me. Father's henchmen never liked me anyway, and always insulted me, calling me pointy-eared. It's time for my well-deserved revenge! The game logic internalizing evil had given Talia an assignment. Out there on the surface were shamelessly good places in urgent need of destruction. Nah, no problem. I'll take care of it. I am an evil army. Naturally, the strategically well-versed evil did not send its new general into battle alone. A dungeon had to be built, and creatures hired to provide her with a powerful army. Of course, the sophisticatedly thinking evil this is already knew which way the too long. in a dungeon. However, should it be hit by short-term memory loss, it could effortlessly look up things in the fabulous almanac. Alright, so hopefully... Yep, the nar narrator stopped talking. Alright, so here's your dungeon. It's basically underground. This is your mini-map for the dungeon here. This is your mini-map for the overworld. You can switch between the two. Now, where's my gates? It's right here, so they're linked. So you can send units from your dungeon into the gates. They'll come up, 
Anyways, before that, this is basically a game about management. So what you're doing here is, hey, you're gonna send your snots here. You're gonna tell the them to mind this. The evil's helpers had not been idle. Well, they hadn't exhausted themselves either, but anyway, there were now some research projects the researching evil could pursue. The new improved research menu, TM, was now available. So what you're doing here is you're queuing up commands and you're saying, I want you to build here. And if there's gold, they run into gold, they'll mine that for you. So you're not controlling the little snats. They're just doing things that you set them out to do. And once you clear out spaces, you can build rooms. So let's see. Do we have the treasure room available right now? We do. So here, they will constantly mine this until it's depleted. But they have to carry it back to your treasure pile here. So what you can do to kind of alleviate that is build a treasure room. Right here, like this. That means they don't have to go all the way back here. Now here's another thing. Later on, the heroes that come down will loot your treasure if you leave it open. So you're gonna have to worry about things like making doors, making traps, etc. You gotta plan out your rooms more carefully. This is how you get gold. You can find secret rooms later as well that do other things. Uh, you're gonna run into them as you continue playing the game. Some gold there. These goblins are lazy. Alright. Now we can go into the menu. This is the army here. You can sort them by type. The spells are here. You can create creatures here. You can do traps. They'll come the later in the tutorial. Research menu TM opened and gave an overview of currently available technologies. At the moment, the selection was still limited, but that would change. After all, this evil crusade had only just begun. Dragons have nested in the underground. So what I just researched here uh, is the horde, I mean hideout room, which is basically the sleeping area for your minions. They have a hunger meter and a sleep meter, so you gotta take care of them. I just built the farm. You can create, uh, Im improve the number of creatures that you can hire. So what I, what I usually do is, I'm not good at the game, but I like getting a lot more snaps first so then I can, you know, build up the dungeon. In the dungeon. Alright. Let's uh, continue digging here. Uh, they said the uh, dragons have nested. You're gonna have to kill them later. You can just click and drag as well if you want, like, like so. Okay, let's hew out some rooms here. Let's see. We'll make this the farm. And we'll make this the... the sleeping chamber. A spider nest has been unearthed. Gonna have to kill them later. There are countless spiders pouring out of a room that was accidentally unearthed. Disgusting. Any more?
or snots. Get to work. will generate turkeys. Okay, we're gonna build sleeping chambers here. And then we can hire monsters. Let's see. Let's bring Thalia. Thalia, Thalia. Why can't I grab her? There we go. Our evil. You can slap people to make them go back to work. That's kind of hilarious. Alright, I'll drop them off here. And we'll clear out the dragons. Spiders here, we're gonna have to clear as well. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna send him up here. My heroes do come down, but since this is this is a tutorial, it's fairly easy. I'm gonna ease you into the game. Destroy the Help! Okay, now that they're up there. I need this currency, we're gonna get it soon. Okay. Now get I can control orders. it. Now this is Warcraft 3. Literally Warcraft 3. Feels Blinding good though. beams of light met the dauntless evil's creatures. They briefly squinted at the disgusting brightness. Finally, they grinned, satisfied. At last, they were able to carry the battle to the good people and were not limited to protecting themselves in a dungeon, as is the case with other representatives of the genre. <clears throat> Follow me, sons of Rohan. I, I mean, my vicious hordes. The armies of evil reached one of those disgustingly good places that had survived the destruction of Twistrum. The ice-cold hand, I mean evil, would deal with it immediately. The caddy leaves something to be desired sometimes. Usually go after the support characters yeah. first. Command me. The little town of good was destroyed and turned into a hotbed of evilness. Cracks formed on the surface and something, guess, evil rose from the dead. This evilness, in a practical spherical form, was the sweet lifeblood which flowed through the personified evil's veins. It stimulated the armies of evil and swelled their power. All this lofty blah blah without any impact on the game aside, it was another resource primarily or exclusively used for more powerful research. Delicious evilness flowed into the dungeon heart and filled it with power. New research was thus made available, which would help the dungeon to even greater power. The impatient evil immediately began to research something.
There are countless spiders pouring out of a room that was accidentally unearthed. Disgusting. Yeah, what is going on here? I feel a disturbance in the force. The deeds of the conspicuous evil and its henchmen had not gone unnoticed. As a matter of fact, even a blind man could see the destruction they left behind them. As idiotic heroes do, they sent out a small patrol to scout the area. Move out, men. Have a look around and report back to me. While I would love to accompany you myself, I'm currently um, teaching myself to play the ukulele. So, uh, if you can see, they were damaged, and so I brought them back here to the quarters so they can heal up. And then after that, they're gonna need food so they can just walk in. They do it automatically, so... You're just making them available, this space. Okay, let's get more. Now we can do more research. If you look here, we can get the Healy dudes. That's not what I meant to click. <laughs> The we need progress that. addicted evil had unlocked some new research and immediately set about trying it out. All right. I guess get this larger. When are the heroes getting here? I don't even see them. All right, yeah. So those those buildings here oh, give no. you this currency. The studio burned down, and I was going to come here tonight for Pilates. There are enemies in your dungeon. Hey, where does this lead? We should take a closer look. The first heroes had discovered the not-so-well-hidden evil's dungeon and now entered its depths. Of course, the insidious evil had already prepared a despicable reception for them. <laughs> Even if that's not the case, I will kill these ridiculous do-gooders myself. They will pay for mocking me over the years. Wait! Wait a minute! What am I saying? These are my friends. How can I plan their deaths? Talia had chosen an extremely unfavorable time for moral doubts. Luckily, her evil dark elf heritage prevailed. Hey, Talia, you're evil. So act like it. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Kill them all! <laughs> all right. So we're gonna clear the spider's nest out real quick so they can mine this gold here. Make this space a little bit bigger so I can build a treasure room. treasure room here as well. These give you a lot of gold, so you, you want someone to mine it. Okay. Oh, those are just temporary veins. Whoops. Well, whatever. Alright, let's see how much we got for research. Uh, if you upgrade Talia a little bit, she gets more Give abilities. Like s abilities to summon shades. They're pretty handy, so we're gonna send these guys up now. Alright. Go to the surface. Uh, what? It's 
payday. Sometimes they drop items like that pot to heal your units and go in. I got my dudes as main damage and tanks. I got the healy dudes to keep them alive. They're mining everything that they need to. So we got our income flow constant and growing. Alright, and then just make sure you're spending your gold. Hire some dudes just in case they attack here. Okay, let's go back to the surface now. So this is basically an RTS with the micro elements mostly removed. It's more macro. There's a lot of managing going on. You can micro in the overworld if you really want to. So, you know, if you like that, huh? it's available. The armies of evil here. Damn it all! How did that happen? Time to call out the heavy guns. Right, men, get ready to attack in waves. Uh, excuse me, sir. Wouldn't it make more sense if we attacked all at once? Where's the fun in that? Wave after wave, that's a strategy for real men. Thanks to the enemy's limited tactical finesse, their destruction was virtually unavoidable. So it was time to decorate for the victory celebration, to get the beer and hire the orc dancers. Okay, maybe not orcs. I shudder at the thought. Whoa, whoa, some people like <laughs> orc dancers, okay? Play. Leave them to me. I mean, hold them back and let them hit you while I deal with them. The second island of the good was mercilessly overrun by the strategically savvy evil's hordes and turned into an evil island. Soon, more of that exquisite evilness would be bubbling to the surface. <laughs> Excellent. Even better than in Dungeons 2. Not that I'm out to plug it or it's fantastic add-on or anything. <laughs> Wasn't that right. the staggering pony tavern? By the goddess, I won't be getting any more roast pork there. So this upgrade here just improves the horde Enemies in general. Enter the dungeon. Oh shoot. Uh. Should be good enough for now. The good camp has been destroyed. Victory is ours. Evil is victorious. <laughs> 
Good thing I switched sides. And so it was that the good camp was destroyed by the battle-wise evil's army. Now it was time to take over all of the good islands, but that would be a cakewalk. Easy as stealing candy from a baby. Candy from a baby? Simple. My ass. Ever tried it? The screaming and crying and fetching their parents and family as reinforcements, and those little beasts bite pretty damn hard. <clears throat> Not that I have any personal experience. The ultimate, chaotic, absolute, whatever evil will be happy. I am. <laughs> Father is going to be so angry. to be good. You had dedicated yourself to the light. Stop and really think about your deeds. Can you please just stop with the Gollum thing? We already had too many Lord of the Rings gags in the last two games. Enough is enough. Yeah, exactly. Just shut it, good me. Talia and the destructive Evil's army had succeeded in destroying Twistrum and the surrounding area. Good no longer existed in this land. Oi! What the hell happened here? Um, uh, apparently not quite all of the good guys were defeated. The dwarven king Grimly, an old drinking buddy of Thanos the Paladin, was just touring the country with his exorbitantly large army to ensure everything was in order. Thank God the foresighted evil had provided for this contingency. The Dungeon Heart was charged with evilness and enough energy to act as a teleporter. For Talia, of course. Ooh, good. Then all the best, brave warriors, and stop them! Right! I'm out of here. With a plop, Talia dissipated and disappeared to a faraway and safe place. The rest of the sacrificing evil's creatures looked astonished as their general fled, but only for a moment, as they already found themselves facing an unpleasant army of good. This is the work of that damn pointy-eared wench. I always warned Thanos that those miserable dark elves couldn't be trusted. Criminals, the lot of them. But enough is enough. I'm going to find that shifty witch and use her ears as bookmarks. Victory. Man, I did so much better than last time. Let me tell you. All right, so I'm going to show Ash off Spring Swampland. A little bit. After leaving the vestiges of Tristram, Talia set out for the Gehenna Stones. They served as seals to keep the demons banished in hell, where Thanos himself had exiled them. Her so-called The Battle of Steelsmith. Sometimes I wish I could turn the narration off. Like it's it's great the first time, but you're like replaying levels. You're like I've heard it before. Let's let's get to the gameplay. Alright, you lazy buggers, get ready. That evil horde is going to show up with that pointy-eared cow any moment now, but Steel Smith is a fortress like none they've ever seen. So take your positions and don't forget the elf is mine. <laughs> I'm going to make slippers out of her ears. Did Nasty. You hear the rumbling? They're here. I feel it in my right corn. Send out the scouts and prepare the Death Hammer. Finally, the time of the great battle was at hand. Talia's troops had taken the quickest route from the Ash Spring Swamplands, and they were full of anger and determination to win this final confrontation. I wouldn't say that. I'm still trying to persuade myself to return to the forces of good. <sighs> okay. A part of Talia burned with anger and determination to win this final confrontation. Another wanted to form work groups and look after the bonsai garden. Ugh, ignore my little moments. I'm going to crush that god's damned dwarf. He's made his last stupid comment about elves. I'm going to make gloves out of his beard. What's this whole thing about everybody using bits of their opponents for slippers or gloves? That's incredibly unhygienic. <laughs> the time had the excavation happy evil came upon a room in which some dwarves were trapped. No matter how they got there, they didn't look at all grateful. 
Okay, so if you look here, we get a lot of other things. We get a vortex, which is basically a res dead units and bring them back and then you can use them again. Uh, we have a workshop where you can generate toolboxes or uh, things to use to build traps later. We got a guard room, so basically when you build a guard room, they will units will stay in that room until you get attacked and then they will come out and all their needs will be met very slowly while in the guard room. And then you have traps here, you got the spike trap, the arrow trap, then you get more traps here. Uh, you need them to whittle down the troops as they come into your base. And then, because otherwise you're forced to keep a huge garrison, that means your overworld army will be very small. And that's pretty much it. They keep adding in small things, like you're going to have spells they can use, like Meteor, um, a buff to, you know, enrage your troops, increase damage. You can teleport out of places. And those cost mana, which you're going to have to find on your map. And if you kind of pay attention to your minimap here, you can see that red is enemies. The large greens are troops, a yellow is gold, so you can't mine this here until you get rid of those dwarves. Um, I'm gonna get to that real quick. And then you just switch between the two, and then you want to send them out, and you want to grab these areas as fast as possible so you can get the evilness and then research your other things. Basically you just want the Healy dude first. The Healy dude and the guard rooms are essential for early game, and after that you do whatever the heck you want. But I'm going to call it here. You guys get an idea what the game is like. Uh, I'm in enjoying my time with it because it's a combination of a management sim and an RTS game. So there's a little bit of micro, there's mostly macro, and more importantly, you're just running things. And I really like that. I'm gonna have to go get those dwarves. But yeah, there you go guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I just played the first few levels to give you guys an idea what early game is like. Uh, eventually I'll make videos later of me playing like late game to show off, uh, you know, hopefully by then I'll understand the game and can play it on a decent level. I don't want to start with that because that's an inaccurate representation of the game. Like when you start playing a game, oh, it's not going to be easy. Alright, I just pause this so I don't have to deal with the voice acting for now. But there you have it, Dungeons 3, developed by Realm Forge Studios, published by Calypso. And the complete edition is out now on an Xbox, PlayStation 4, and PC on June 26, 2020. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching. If you have any questions, comments, things you would like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there, and catch you guys next time. This game is pretty funny, not gonna lie. <laughs>